Buttigieg running for president of these United States. Uh, you are the only uh, candidate, uh, I understand, uh, on the Democratic side, who is in an Afghan war vet. I think that's right. Okay. Um, the U.S. is presently negotiating with the Taliban on a pullout, and my understanding is that there is indication that there's some tentative agreement already. Um, are they trustworthy, in your opinion? Can you can you negotiate with the Taliban? And if so, how would you want us to get out? Well, I think the important thing is to make sure that we uh, have a deal that works for our interests that is enforceable. So. Do I trust the Taliban in, think, in terms of thinking that they're like a nice or great group of folks? I do not. Um, <laughs> but by definition, uh, when you're making peace with somebody, you're making peace with your enemy. That's what it is to come to the table. To me, the, the, the real problem is that the Afghan government, you know, the legitimately elected Afghan government, has been on the sidelines of this process. And I think they need to be very much in the middle of it. But at the end of the day, we've got to leave. And this is the one thing that the left, the right, uh, the Taliban, the Afghan government, the international community can all agree on, is that we're leaving. The question is, are we going to leave well or are we going to leave poorly? And I think what we've got to do is we've got to leave with whatever assurances we need on keeping the American homeland safe, uh, but without getting sucked into a generation of guaranteeing all that needs to go right with the Afghan government. Uh, so for, so, for so many years, the, um, one of the cries uh, on uh, the side that didn't want us to leave Afghanistan was you can't actually say you want to leave or else they won't negotiate from a, a position of strength against the Taliban. Do you think it's a mistake to say ahead of time that we want to leave? Well, definitely if we, for example, allow it to be uh, decided by the American political calendar. And I'm a little worried that that's what's happening with the current administration. Uh, but again, I think the understanding is we've got to go. We do have leverage based on the timing and the manner of our departure, as well as the fact that we're going to have some kind of special operations or intelligence capability no matter what. That's part of the leverage that helps us get a political settlement, but we have to get the political settlement. We have to leave. It is September of 2019. That means you could be 18. You could be old enough to enlist a couple weeks from now and have not been alive on 9-11. It won't be that long before we get news of a casualty in Afghanistan, American, who is not alive on 9-11 unless we do something different. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Good luck next Thursday. Please make something dramatic happen. <laughs> Mayor Pete Buttigieg, everybody, we'll be right back with Graham Norton.